L-O-E. What's going on? What's going on? It's your man Low. Male angst. Why I cry. MGTOW till I die. Logic over motion. L-O-E. It's your boy L-O-E. So we're talking about right now, I'm talking with a friend here. And uh, she wanted to ask me about my narrative. And she doesn't want to put her voice on this recording. So I'm basically talking to her. And you're going to hear me talking to her about some of the issues. And if she wants to voice something, she can. Um, we'll just call her Jade if she decides to make her voice known. So now I was telling her about in the early 2000s, I got caught up with a friend of mine with the traditional African-American narrative. Well, not, let me not say traditional. Let's just say the postmodern. African American narrative about the white man is holding me down. Now, I had gotten my friend, um, Kenyatta, had told me about how it's hard to be a black man in America. And I, and I bought into it and I started saying, yeah, man, you know, there's a lot of discrimination. But fast forward from those years to now, I was telling her that we pretty got it pretty damn good here. I mean, the economics here, the ability to obtain credit here is by far the best in the Western Hemisphere. So what is this? Why are the majority of black people, I don't know what percentage i'm going to say more than i'm going to say the more than 50% of black people do have a narrative from my experience about quote unquote the white man is holding me down and i figured it out i've got it now my friend jade she's from an asian country and i was telling her what black people want and when i say black people i'm just going to say over 50% of black people. What they want in America is they want social acceptance. It's a social acceptance thing. So I'm going to talk to her and you're going to hear me. So what's happening is here's the solution. Make your money here and build your social networks in other countries where you're socially accepted. America is the best country in the world to make money, right? But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be accepted by everybody. See, I think a lot of these Negroes, I think a lot of them don't have the father figure to tell them when they're young, hey, don't believe everything you see on TV. Don't believe that when you buy a product. That's what my, my, one of my male ma patriarch figures told me. Just because you see someone wearing a shoe on TV – don't believe that you're going to buy it and all of a sudden you're going to be able to jump and dunk a basketball or, or, or fly or whatever it is. Don't buy something and believe that it's going to make you something more than you are. Don't believe everything you see on TV. See, you need a man to tell you that. You need a, a, a father figure to tell you that. No woman is going to tell you that. Why? Because women buy shit believing that it's going to make them be something that they're not. That's why... The majority of the media and marketing is focused on women because they're impulse buyers and they buy shit like that. So what, what does this have to do with anything? Well, what it has to do is with the reality is that that father figure would have told you, son, daughter, everywhere you go, everybody's not going to like you where you go. That's the reality. Everybody's not going to like you. So deal with it. What can you take from America? What can you take from America? Okay, let's try to be reasonable in dealing with people of other belief systems. In the same while, let's focus on the economics. Let's focus on increasing our balance sheet position, increasing our net worth, saving our money, and then going to a vacation and building a social network or having social interactions in a vacation rather than in the place that you live in every day. See, let me tell you what the whole, let me tell you why we have an obesity epidemic. Do you know why we have an obesity epidemic? 
It's because Americans, on average, they feast every day. See, back in the days when we were hunter-gatherers, we didn't have to go to the store and buy a steak. We had to chase that shit down. In the meanwhile, we're living off our own fat stores. So we have this excess of consumption. So here's the deal. We have an excess of consumption here. Other countries that are less economically developed have below average consumption. So why not take your resources and go to another country where their standard of living is lower than yours? And that way you can maximize your social connections and networks and your spending there and you're not, you're not so worried about what people think about you here. And that's what a lot of dudes are starting to do, especially a lot of uh, black MGTOWs that are professional. They're saying, you know what? Fuck this. I don't have to put up with this shit from American women. I don't have to put up with their, uh, their unabil inability, their general inability to understand why, what a man is attracted to and why a man is attracted to it. To understand that men are attracted to youth and beauty, then personalities and virtues and things like that. Check out Turd Flinging Monkey for all the other stuff. But to understand this, like it's it. I don't require. Listen, man, I'm I'm a practical guy. I don't need a supermodel chick. I don't need a chick that's a model. But it appears to me that the new normal in America is overweight. That's the new normal. And, I've, and, and at my age, I've spanned a couple of generations where I've seen chicks that I consider normal. Today, they're considered above average. And I know a lot of big towns have been talking about, you know, like sexual hypergamy. But let's be honest, guys. In the words of Adam Smith, laissez-faire. The market will charge what it can bear. And you got all these thirsty fools on here and they're doing a lot of you know, uh, uh, what's this, fat uh, acceptance culture, which is fine. I accept it because I come from black people. We come from a culture where people are fat all the, you know, most of the time. But there's a difference between fat acceptance. And by the way, this fat acceptance culture is for fat women. It's not for fat men because women hardly ever accept the fat guy. Let's be honest to you, like, unless he's rich, right? But this fat acceptance culture is nothing more than an indication that the sexual market value of women on average is inflated. It's inflated. And there's a lot of explanations. You know, you can go to different MGTOW channels to find it out. There's a lot of explanations talking about like selfie culture, narcissism, Tinder, all these applications that allow a woman to cross many markets and cross many people to see what she has, to see her, her beauty and what she's accept, what, what, what she'll accept. And so because of this, now she's not just advertising. Like back in the day when a woman used to go out when there was no Tinder or Facebook or any of these social networking apps, a woman will go out in her respective location with her youth and beauty or whatever she's, whatever she's advertising on herself. And she would go out and have a social hangout in the area that she lived or another area where people she met actually existed that she could grasp were at her at her fingertips. But now a woman can display what she has to anybody in a X mile radius that can see her on Tinder. So she has more options and there's more competition. Now provided males are already the competitive sex. She's just increased the competition tenfold. Add to that that she can you know, earn her own income and do her own thing. Now she has, now she puts off having a long-term relationship, maybe. Yeah. So anyways, this, this is running almost to 10 minutes. I'm going to close it here, but I'm going to say this in closing because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to digress too much. And uh, she left the room. I guess she uh, she had enough of her dose of red pill rage. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say to you guys is, guys, listen. Guys in general don't expect anybody to like you. 
don't look for social acceptance here in the Western countries. Make your money and try to maximize your net worth. If you live in a Western country, any of the, I forgot other countries, uh, um, United Kingdom or, or uh, Great Britain, whatever the term is for it, United States, um, um, Australia, Canada, and I think Germany, Sweden, you better get on board with this. <laughs> Maximize your net worth and then go to countries where there is still a hierarchy standard where men can still be men and go there and be social. Save your money. You could, you know what? Imagine, think about how much money you, you spend in a bar. Let me get, let me get a couple extra minutes to just, you know, throw this in real quick. We're reaching the 11 minute mark. So let me get to the 13 minutes to just to just put this out there real quick. Think about the money that you spend in a bar. You, you can spend in America, in American cities, you can spend about $100 going to a bar easily. Each drink is on average $10, okay? If you're, let's say if you want to date a woman and you want to buy a woman, let's say you have five drinks, you buy her five drinks, that's $100. But let's just be, let's just be conservative and say you spend 60 bucks at the bar with bar food and stuff. Oh, you know, let's just say fifty dollars to make it uh, easily um, multiplicative. So you spend fifty dollars. So you go to the bar on Friday and Saturday when you're off of work. That's hundred dollars a weekend. That's hundred dollars a weekend times four weekends in a month. That's four hundred dollars a month. Okay. Now, if you save up your money, four hundred dollars a month, right? Okay. Well, by ten months, that's four thousand dollars. Do you think that you could say, do you think that you could abstain from going to the bar every weekend and save your money and stack it up and you have that $4,000 and then you take that $4,000, you, you pay $500 for a plane ticket round trip to go to a country in like South America or something like that. And then the $3,500 that you have left over. You could take a grand and get a hotel. You have 2,500 left. The food and drinks there are cheap if you eat at mom and pop spots. I mean, in the country of Peru, you can get a bottle of, 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 of Top Shelf, Johnny Walker, Black Label for like 75 bucks in a club and get VIP. So here's the deal. Save your money. Don't spend your money here. Build your net worth while you're here. Focus on building yourself, building your net worth, logic over emotion, male angst. That's why I cry, MGTOW, till I die. Peace.